Well, it's death. I mean, it's it's nothing short of death for an artist. I mean, to 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 be censored to the extent that that we were in South Africa. Um, you know, one can imagine it's just in terms of its technicalities that you're told that you cannot, you know, have your songs played on radio or you you cannot play in public places. Um, but the effect on the on the human soul is is far greater than that, and I don't think that me, you know I, I'm very lucky that I survived it and I've come out positively and I'm still playing music. But I think a lot of people didn't because it it is deeply deeply destructive. It destroys the, the 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 soul. And what else does the does the artist have if, if not that? Well, I've been into the war zones and I've seen country bleed, and I've seen chains in the eyes of children, and souls of men that can't be free, and there's no road without a story, and there's no journey that's been in vain, and there's no peace without atonement, there's no joy without a pain. To remember where you've been, but you won't know where you go going to if you don't know where you've been. Oh, where you've been? Oh, where you've been now? Oh, where you've been now? Oh, where you've been? The long-term effects of censorship generally in South Africa is that we've ended up with a country that um, still suffers from a kind of isolation, the type of isolation that we had before. I think it takes an enormous amount of time to, to break through that barrier, and we are such a long way away geographically from the rest of the world that, that these barriers um, you know, take take even longer to to break down to you know to to get influence of other people i think that our our music industry our film industry and our drama industry at the moment suffers from that um lack of of of, of cultural broadness you know in the local population which i think that you can trace directly back to to censorship to the um, the cultural boycott um and it's it's it affects the working life of artists in south africa it just means that we live in a far smaller place than we should be living. If you were to say, for example, I mean, I can compare it to Italy, which, um, you know, is so broadly based and it's so, you know, cultural diversity is celebrated. And yet in South Africa, when people talk about cultural diversity, I don't think they even really know what they, what they really mean about the nature of cultural diversity. On the road to the mountains and the sun to so the storm starts to darken the day. I bite back in my homeland The storms of our birth And I drifting much further away I'd stay if I could But there's somebody calling It leaves me no choice but to fly I'm leaving it long As the rain starts to fall It will on me And I'll try I'm leaving it In the higher structures of, the, of, of media, of television, of radio in South Africa, it is still middle-aged white men who control a lot of those structures. Those were people that were in those positions during the apartheid years. Those are the voices that inevitably are saying, 
We don't want to hear about the past. Forget about the past. Move on. Now, you've got dramatists like Ethel Fugard who are coming into the country with plays that deal with the past. You know, I mean, he's now based overseas. And they are saying we cannot move forward until we address what happened in the past. And so it's become a big issue. I mean, if you write a song that, that reflects on the Truth Commission, the immediate response from anybody in business, in the in the you know in the in the media side, in the in the structures, you know, in the record companies, is to say, forget about it, leave you know, it's not important. So inevitably what's gonna happen is that the youth are not gonna be um exposed to what what happened in our in our recent past. And I don't believe that the youth are disinterested. I think that they just suffer from a lack of exposure. Um, so it's a it's a big. I think that's going to, in in many ways, creatively, that is one of the new battlegrounds. You know, to say how do we tell our stories, and at the same time, you know, move forward.